uh, the nervous system, uh, the skeletal structure. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, that's a perfect example of how we, the human race, should be. You know, instead of competing with one another, I think the key into building a, a co-heaven on earth is cooperation, brotherhood, and sisterhood. That's it. You know, yeah. uh, learn to just, you know, not impose our beliefs on others. Um, it's and accepting everybody's, you know, uniqueness in that regard. And, yes. and that's yeah. find unity and diversity. And and that's exactly the same mentality that, that advanced spiritual civilizations adopt, by the way. That's why they're so ahead of us, you know. Um, we we have the potential to become something greater than just what, you know, they, they told us we were. And um, I've, I've always believed that, um, that humans have a, a, how can I say it? We're, we're different, you know, we're, despite the fact that there are many human-like races in, in many universes, there, there's something unique about us here on this planet, you know. We read about how, like, human beings here are, you know, the culmination of, of, a, of a long genetic program that uh, has been going on for millions, perhaps even billions of years. And as a result, we carry the greatest diversity of emotional spectrum because of that, right? We carry the best genes of all the different races out there. And... And also because of that, we have a great potential that um, eventually, you know, if we learn how to harness our full ab ability, our full potential, we actually become something that, uh, you know, that is reaching levels of power that's never been heard of before. I mean, we hear about this stuff, like there is so much potential in us. And um, I, I think that the um, interdimensional beings from higher levels of reality, right? The interstellar races, cosmic uh, societies, I think they, they see that in us. So, um, and they all know that, by the way, they all know that, right. you know? And um, so what I, I'm starting to believe, my friend, is that these extraterrestrials, these other dimensionals are not separated from us. I'm starting to think that they're future version of us. And all we have to do is integrate with that aspect of ourselves that exists in these higher levels of reality where we are like, you know, interstellar guardians, where we are, you know, um, superhuman, like metahumans. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I yeah. This, this, this is where, and, you know, it's like, the level of normalizing these conversations is where we're going into now. Like around two or three years ago, a lot of people at the beginning of the lockdown and, and really around like 2021, myself included, just started seeing visions, just started having awarenesses, started seeing stuff. Like I did um, QHHT, quantum healing hypnotherapy, and I had a whole vision that was outside of this planet and everything was very, very clear. And the level of not making myself crazy and normalizing that and then starting to you know specifically when i started streaming on TikTok, i started meeting people that were initially looking to book time with me to talk about emotional intelligence and then all of a sudden both of us have this awareness that we've met before but we haven't met physically in this lifetime and and seeing this connection that i mean even cell phones are reverse engineered alien technology if you really really go down that rabbit hole you'll see that right and and then being able to understand the only way that we're finding our people the only way that we're able to awaken is through this technology that people i can hold up a phone and say look this is what i've been trying to tell you look this has been going on for centuries this has been going on for a while there it is you've just never seen it before so what we're doing right now is we're going through family therapy where one person wants to talk and share their side of the story. And then the therapist says, OK, I hear you. This other person wants to interrupt and they're like, hold on. They're going to tell you how they feel about their life. Then that person finishes. Then this other person says, but this is my side and this is what you've done to me. And I don't like you because of this. So this is where right now in this journey. It's being able to, when you go to couples therapy or when you go to family therapy, there's a lot of uncomfortable truths that we're discovering about life 